Hi, welcome to SCR Sports Picks. My name is Peter Loshak. Today's Thursday, October 5th. It's week six in college football, and we're talking right now with Joe Gavassi from JoeGavassiSports.com. We're going to take a look at the Pac-12 games, Stanford and Utah. Always a very interesting matchup, two rugged teams. Uh, Joe Gavassi, obviously Utah is, a, uh, is a, a, an undervalued team at times, a little bit under the radar, and they are 4-0 ATS on the year so far. They've covered all of their games. Stanford, though, a very tough team. Utah's off a of bye, so Utah is a home underdog here uh, off of a bye. Of course, uh, traditionally, we assume that when these two teams play, it's a very rugged game, relatively low scoring. The total has taken a pretty significant drop down. It opened at about 55, 54, various places. Now it's all the way down to 50 and a half. And Stanford, uh, a little bit surprisingly, at least to my eye, has taken some money. It opened around four and a half. Now it's up to five or five and a half market wide. And I'm just looking at uh, Stanford's yardage numbers. Don't impress me that much. I'm thinking Utah as a home dog off a of buy might be worth a shot at plus five and a half to get a fifth straight cover this year. What do you think, Joe? This is my penthouse pick of the week on the Utah Utes and what I refer to as a WTF game. That stands for wrong team favored, by the way. That's exactly what we have here. Stanford's history book precedes them as they're an outstanding 22 and 12 against the spread as road chalk and 22 and 7 ATS on the conference road. When they lost McCaffrey, it was a question as to who would replace him. That has been loudly answered by R.B. Love, who need, leads the nation in rushing right now. However, he will be hard pressed to increase those numbers against defensive Dandy Utah, who's allowing just 17 points on less than 300 yards and just 82 on 2.6 over land. Truly a defensive dog here. We have some quarterback controversy here this week, whether former quarterback Chris will be starting for Stanford or replacement quarterback Costello, who will be making his roads first road start. In a similar way, Duke's quarterback Huntley has an arm issue and may be replaced by veteran experienced starter Williams, who is equally mobile and equally adept at the position. Either way, Regardless of which quarterback starts for either team, I'm firmly on the Utah Utes to win this game outright in my penthouse pick of the week. All right. Well, it is uh, up to five or five and a half market wide. Actually, uh, Pinnacle's the only place that has a five and a half. I would agree with you. I think Utah's probably a nice play here at a plus five and a half, and we might see this one drop down by kickoff. Somewhere closer to a three. We'll see where the line closes. But right now, five and a half is a market number. Joe Gavazzi recommending a play on Utah, plus five and a half. Joe Gavazzi, tell us about your website, JoeGavazziSports.com. We are talking about JoeGavazziSports.com. I usually write an article this week. <clears throat> this week is no exception, as we've written The Contrary Solution, an article well worth reading, not only for its statistical content, but also for some entertainment value. It's available on JoeGavazziSports.com. Just click on College Football Articles and enjoy the read at JoeGavazzisports.com. Thanks, Joe. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.